Hello students, a warm welcome to all of you and a very good morning. I hope all of you are doing fine. In today's session, we will learn and discuss the various components of MS Excel. Microsoft Excel is an electronic spreadsheet mainly used for editing data such as textual data, numeric data, formulas and functions. MS Excel graphical user interface comprises of different components. Let us now see what are the different components of MS Excel window. So students, as I was telling you regarding the GUI of MS Excel window, this is a labeled detailed diagram showing various components of the MS Excel interface. Let us start off with the title bar. The title bar shows the name of the application that is MS Excel. On the left of that we have the quick access toolbar which has three options save, undo and redo. On the right of the title bar we have window controls as you can see it's written over here Excel window controls. It has mainly three options minimize, maximize and close. As you know this is common for all Microsoft applications. Okay now let us move on to this green portion. This entire green portion if you can see it. This is known as the ribbon and the menu bar. So from here till this part we have the ribbon. The ribbon comprises of the menu bar and various other controls like one such menu is the file menu then we have insert page layout formulas data etc the ribbon shows you various controls based on whichever menu option you select moving further down if you can find this is a Excel worksheet. It has got vertical and horizontal divisions. An intersection of a vertical and horizontal division is called a cell. Now each cell is uniquely identified with a cell address. Like at present if we can go to this box we can find it's written F6. So it's somewhat in the column F row 6. So this particular cell when you click on this it shows a thick black border like this. It is also known as the cell pointer which is pointing to this cell address which is shown in the name box as F6. Also this is called the active cell because if we want to type anything in this cell we have to first click here to make it the active cell then as we go on typing the cursor will appear the content appears on top here this is known as the formula bar wherein whatever you type in the cell is shown in this formula bar the content of the cell now let us see what are the vertical divisions and what are the horizontal divisions? Vertical divisions are known as columns. It is called identified with column letters such as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, etc. Horizontal divisions are known as rows which are given row numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now, as we move on to each particular cell, we can use either the up arrow, down arrow, right arrow or left arrow key on the keyboard to move from one cell to another, either left or right or up or down. 
or also we can navigate using the tab key on the keyboard at present you can see that some row numbers and column letters are identified with the labels now let us move on down in the worksheet left of the worksheet as you can see it is showing the sheet tab worksheet tab at present we are having sheet 1 now each particular workbook comprises of three sheets in excel sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 if you can see this plus button it shows add worksheets button here what it what happens is that if you want to increase one more sheet you can click on this this plus button it will in, insert a new sheet by the name of sheet 4 you can also rename the sheets let us move on to the right hand side of this window here you can see some horizontal scroll bar vertical scroll bar horizontal scroll bar is this button and this button vertical scroll bar is this button and this button it is in order to move along the worksheet now we are having three types of views the page view the page break preview and the normal view these are the three buttons on the bottom left right hand corner now there is one more control known as the zoom control which will allow you to magnify the view of the entire worksheet now let me move on with my active cell i was in f column sixth row so as you click on this the cursor appears the cursor appears somewhat like this line so when you type on this the content is shown in this formula bar now as soon as you complete typing you get these three buttons on the left of the formula bar that is the tick mark the cross and this fx tick mark means enter button this cross means cancel button and this is for insert function as soon as you complete typing you click on this enter button the content is saved in this particular cell if you don't want to save the content suppose you want to remove certain content then you can click on the cancel button before pressing enter button then the content will be removed